I think it's a good idea. What's wrong with it? We tried talent contest. Basically, there isn't any. This is Walford, remember? Yeah, you're right. All right, what about happy hour? Oh, if I were you, I'd forget it. We might not even have a pub after I've been to court. Mum, Marcus Chris has been all through this with you. You're just going to get a fine, that's all. Yeah, that's right. What if the magistrate decides to make an example of me? No. He could take away my licence. They can do what they want, these people. You're overreacting, Peggy. It will be all right. Of course it will. Anyway, you'll have me there with you, so you've got nothing to worry about. I've asked George to come with me. This is down to me, Grant. It's my responsibility. Mum, we're in this together. I know, love. But I want you to stay here with Tiffany. Enjoy it while it lasts. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get yourself done up to the nines and show him how it's done, eh? How much experience do you want? I've been in this game donkey's years. Sure I can. Reference as well. I'll call you back. I thought you'd already gone. Is that why you decided to come downstairs, is it? Are you being sarcastic? No. Aren't you going to be late for work? What? Ah, uh, there's nothing to do until the sparks have been in. What about you? Are you going to the refuge? No, I might give it a miss today. Stay at home. Why? Well, I don't think I'm much used to Alex. He says I get too emotionally involved, and he's right. Instead of helping people, I just drive them away, so I'm useless. No. He weren't there, it's true. So you're just going to give it up instead, eh? I don't need a lecture, Dad. Look, Alex is right in what he says. But you can't just quit because you've had a bad day. It's not like you, Sarah. You like it, don't you? Then you've got to stick with it. I mean, no one said it was going to be easy, did they? No. No. So why don't you go and get dressed? You could be doing some good instead of sitting here all day feeling sorry for yourself. You're right. Of course I am. I'll get it. <clears throat> Look, it's just for it's just for a couple of hours. That's all. Look, I'm sorry, Ian. You never give me any warning, do you? You just come and expect me to take over from you. Look, Lucy's your daughter. You have to sort it out. Mom, I've got to get over and lose shop. Yeah, and I'm all on my own, and I. Mick's not in till later. Sorry, see you later. I'm glad you're going to ruin those clothes. Where are you acting? They're back at the site. I changed there. They say we're coming back on the tube, looking scrappy. Okay. You go on. We'll get a newspaper. You're right. Glad I caught you. Listen, my mum's coming home today and I was just wondering, do you want to come round for dinner? Just to make it a bit special for her. Oh, well. So I'm going to clean the flat up and for make it a big surprise. She's not going to believe it. Are you sure you want me to pull over? I mean, if it's her first day back. Yeah, of course. I want you to come. You will, won't you? I'm not sure. Is my cock in or something? <laughs> no, of course not. What is it then? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing really. No, I'd love to come, Joe. Great. Hey, guess what? I've been talking to one of my mates from the um, community centre. Yeah. We we're going to find a team and um, enter that local pool league. What do you think? Well, the other teams better watch out. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to make a start in the flat. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll see you later, Mum. Bye. There we go. Morning. Hiya. So good you're pushing in, love. You'll have to wait your turn. All right, Dad. How's the new job do? Oh, you know. Not working you too hard, are they? Not now, Tony. I want to have a word with Kath. Kath. Sorry, Ted. Right. Just be a couple of minutes, all right, love. Right. Listen, I want to talk to you. What are you doing here anyway? What, you lot got out of the cracker, doll? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. It's been a hitch. What sort of hitch? Well, the thing is... I don't believe this. I sat down all morning. This is obviously not a good time to talk to you, is it? What are you doing when you're finishing it? Uh, I'm meeting Pat for a drink. Oh. Well, that's afternoon. Me and Phil are taking Ben out. Oh. What's going on? Look. I'll come round your place this evening, all right? Yeah, sorry. Hey, all right, for Sammy? You're joking, and just that's not a cup of tea I've had today. I've been rushed off my feet. Um, listen, Kathy, I've had a word with my boss. What was he saying? Well, I explained the whole situation about you and Ian, and I think I've managed to swing it. Oh, that's brilliant, Ruth. Yeah, Ben can have Lucy's place at the nursery. Well, provided Ian doesn't change his mind, of course. Well, I don't think he will. And anyway, you can't just chop and change when it suits him, can he? No. So, it's all set up then. Uh, listen, Ruth, Phil says I shouldn't worry, but you don't think the other kids are teasing, do you? No, of course not. It's just, well, I know he's only slightly deaf, but if they all talk at once, he won't be able to make out what they're saying, will he? Kathy, it'll be fine, Phil's right. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's not going to be a problem. 
Ben's going to be in with a nice bunch of kids. And anyway, I'll be there to keep an eye on him, won't I? Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Ruth. I don't know why you're so nervous, Peggy. It'll be okay. How can you say that? I don't know what's going to happen, do I? The bit means everything to me, George. You know that. <sighs> Hi. Where are you off to? Magistrate's court. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Uh, listen, that bit of business we talked about? I told you. I'm sorting it. <sighs> George? Uh, come in. See you later. I don't want to be late on top of everything else, do I? Just calm down. I wonder how Mum's getting on. We should be all right. Listen, this is more like it. What? It's from one of the breweries. They're setting up a darts league. We can start a team. Yeah, but don't you need a pub for that. Oh, don't you start. You're as as Peggy. But Mum's right. We don't know what's going to happen, do we? Like a murder, Barry. He put the idea into Roy's head in the first place. Well, let him go to the dinner, see how he likes it. He really hates it, don't you? Oh, not half. Well, Kath, don't get me wrong, I'll try anything once. But raw fish. Oh. I nearly die when the chopsticks come out. Roy reckons I've got to practice. I told him what he could do with his chopsticks. Wait till it's your turn. Oh, darling. <laughs> Mum, there you are. I so why does it have to be a woman's dance team, eh? Well, it's high profile, isn't it? People will talk about it more. I will get into the local paper. Tell. Tell him, Pat. Having a ladies' dance team is a brilliant idea, isn't it? It'll bring people into the bit. Yeah, always back to me. See? So, uh, you're going to organise it, are you? Well, yeah, Cheers. I suppose so. Well, give us a chance. I've only just come up with the idea. I was captain of a dance team once. Years ago, mine. <laughs> when platforms were in the first time round. Oh. So you know how it all works, then? So where's Lucy now? Auntie Pauline's looking after her. But, I mean, it's only for half an hour, Mum, please. Well, I suppose me and Phil could take her up with Ben this afternoon. Oh, Mum, you're an angel. Ian, look, you can't go on like this, you know. It's not fair on Lucy, it's not fair on me come today. It's all, it's all right, I'm sorting it out. I spoke to one of those nanny agencies and I'm doing some interviews in the morning. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I hope so. It will be all right, you know. Yeah, you must have been brilliant if you was captain. I mean, that's the top job, innit? You, uh, you're not trying to button me up by any chance, are you? No, nah, of course not. I'm just really impressed, that's all. Well, what do you think? Oh, I don't know, love. It's a lot of ass, we'll see. Oh, let me get you another one of those on the ass. So, when are you going to put the poor girl out of her misery? Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> well? She's going to crack, I can tell. There you go. So, you see, love, I've got a full calendar at the moment. Dinner parties and the like. Oh, it's very into mine, you know, Tiffany. Hostess with a hostess. And if you're talking about a league here, well, I'd have to put aside at least a couple of nights a week for practice. Oh, and of course, if you're practicing, you'd have to have a drink on air, wouldn't you? Gratis, of course. Or several, I reckon. Mm. You're winding me up, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> you were asking for it, love. Well, this might just be a laugh to you, but I'm serious. So will you do it or not? Yeah, of course I will. Oh, good. Cheers. Well? Still got my license. Great. Just a fine, that's all. Told you, didn't I? Could have done without that, though. 250 quid. This is already down without that. There's no pleasing you, is there? Could have had a bigger fine. At least you're yeah. We, you mean? You two might have been out on your ear and all. Uh, let's forget it now, shall we? It's all over. Yeah, I suppose so. Early. Yeah, ran out of materials, didn't I? Really? We didn't stop too late, did you? That's not very good, is it? Well, it happens. Anyway, how was your day at the refuge? Well, I'm really glad I went. You're right to persuade me. See, I told you, didn't I? Listen, I haven't made any tea. Oh, don't bother for me. Joe's invited me around to his place. Oh, yeah? Well, Lorraine came home today, so it's sort of a surprise dinner. You don't mind, do you? No, no, of course not. You go. Right, it says here it should be six aside. We'll have trials, we don't the rotten shots. Oh yeah, the boss. That's right, I am. I think Lorraine used to play once, so I might have a word with her. Well, there's plenty of other candidates. No, I don't really think she'd be that interested. Do you want me to do this or not? Yeah, yeah, of course. Hello, what can I get you? You're a pint and a glass of white wine, please. Yeah, do you fancy trying out for the ladies' dance team? Yeah, the Vic Vixens. Why not? We've got to have a name. 
I didn't know how to sort the beans up, and I did that. Why did you ask me, silly? Oh, it's a really nice thought, though, love. Thank you. You really spoiled me today. It's okay. You can come around and clear our place tomorrow if you like. <laughs> no, Nigel, I really don't. Think so. <laughs> so, what's it to be then? Vegetarian specials all around? No, I think I'm going for the sausages. Nigel. Only if they died of natural causes. <laughs> I've been pretending to go to work, but I can't keep it out much longer. But why haven't you told Sarah? Well, that's stupid. She's better to find out sooner or later. I know, I know. So how did it happen? I lost my rag, didn't I? I'm not some kid who can take orders. Especially from that git Charlie Napier. I told him where to shove his job. I don't believe you. It took you long enough to get this job. What is wrong with you? Nothing. But you can't just walk straight into another one now, you know. It's all right. I... No, it isn't. You can't afford to just jack it in like that. If you let... You got this job in the first place to pay off your debts. How are you going to do it now, eh? Shut up and listen to me, Kath, will ya? I've got another one. What did you say? Well, you didn't give me a chance, did you? Well, that's great. I mean, what is it? Is it round here? Not exactly, no. It's in Dubai. <laughs> Cheers. There you go. That drinks on the house. Soft drinks for those two, all right? I don't want to get into trouble again. Thanks, Peggy. What's the occasion? Let's just say, I've still got my licence and I'm celebrating. What do you think you're playing at, Mum? We're trying to get punters in here so they spend money and you'll give them free drinks away. I've still got my pub, right? It's business as usual. So, two job offers, eh? Lucky you. Interviews, Nigel. They haven't offered me anything yet. Yeah, they will do, though. Then they'll be fighting over you. <laughs> Opportunities are there. The standard of living is terrific. If I don't take this chance, Kath, I won't get another one. As far as it doesn't have to be permanent, you could always come back in a year or so, eh? Yeah, that's right. Well, if you're sure. I am. The only problem is, um, I need to borrow the airfare. A short-term loan, that's all. I'll pay it back in no time. Oh, I don't know, Ted. The old thing called ructions we've filled before. Yeah, but the money I'll be earning, I'll be able to pay off everything. The lot, everything I owe. And I'll be laughing. If I stay around here, I'll, I'll never get me head above water. If there was any other way. Honestly, this is the best solution for everyone. You know I'm right, don't you? How do you think Tony will take it? <laughs> he won't know it's probably. Oh, that's not true. He cares more than you realise. Anyway, he can look after himself. Well, I suppose so could always come here. You've got plenty of room. Huh? Well, you're going to have to organise somewhere to live while you're away. No, she's coming with me. You haven't discussed it with her. What's it to discuss? Did Joe tell you about the volcanic curry I cooked for you? Oh, yeah, he phoned me especially. It really made me laugh. It sounds like you had a really good time. Listen, Mum, um, I'm going to walk Sarah home now. Is that all right? Yeah, fine. All right, I'll see you later. All right. See you later. See you. Thanks for keeping an eye on Mars away, Nigel. Ah, oh, no problem. He was fine. He's really got excited about this pool league thing. Oh, I know. It's always talked about since I've got back. And Sarah, of course. Yeah, must be really pleased. Seems to have got a handle on his life now. Well, the way it's been lately, could be any normal teenager, couldn't he? Hey, I kept a very low profile this time. Mind you, I was on the phone for hours to social services. You know, there's this new woman who'd only just heard about the refuge and helped her find out exactly what she was entitled to. You're really enjoying it now, aren't you? It might have been really boring. No, no, not at all. I think it's great. I mean, whatever makes you happy, well, makes me happy. It's just really good to be involved in something. I feel like it's all starting to come together now. Yep, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's my decision. You can't do this to her, Ted. You can't decide something that'll change your whole life without even asking her first. It's not right. Come off it, she's still a kid. She's got to do what she's told. You'll never learn, will you? All you ever do is lie to her. I don't. You do. She doesn't know you've been sacked. She doesn't know about Dubai. I don't need this. I'm warning you, Ted. If you try walking all over Sarah again, she will hate you for it. And this time, she'll never forgive you.